Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Madhu, and uh, I've been working in this tech industry from uh, past 12 years. You know, so I'm just making this quick video around uh, what are those uh, niche, uh, you know, uh, the kind of technologies that what we have to adopt uh, in tech industry. So uh, as I mentioned, I've been in this uh, tech industry for quite a long time, you know, so uh, more than 10 years uh, by now. And uh, initially, when before just making this uh, you know, video, I just went into this. Uh, New AI tool, uh, what comes around, and then I just typed in emerging technologies in the tech industry, and and yet it, it obviously towards certain uh, points around you know uh, use of AI, you know use of uh, virtual argument, uh, argument reality, and many other such uh, you know options, new technology options which come up. <coughs> When I was going through all these things, one thing which I clearly noticed is uh, that was not so connecting. Okay, so yes, we wanted to bring in, use certain adopt, uh, you know, certain types of uh, types of uh, technology and put it into our program and and deliver to the student. But there was a miss, uh, uh, slight misconnect, uh, which which I really observed. You know, learning when it comes to learning, when a student you know learn, you know there are a lot of theories behind how students learn. You know, there are taxonomies on how we can deliver the learning to our students. But something which is very important for us to understand is, uh, learning cannot be put under a particular formula. I use this formula, and the student will particularly learn something like that. So that just doesn't happen. Okay. Now, if I look at this particular thing, you know, uh, if I look at a system of uh, entire schooling system as such, with no technology that what we have, okay, with whatever the content, I mean, whatever the technology that what we have. It cannot replace the schooling system as of now, at least though. Okay, so we don't have a choice. We cannot replace schooling system as such. All right. Now, this is something which is important. So, what does this edtech industry as such can uh, we can work on? Is how do we equip the school in order to deliver this learning much effectively to the students? All right. So, we need to really look at you know uh, how students learn. Okay. So, uh, on this slides, I would. I would definitely would want to uh, bring out a point on adaptive learning. Okay, so this is something which is a uh, very important for students, right? Now, how I would put it across about this point is, you know, one the student needs to be an exposed to an environment or a platform where uh, there is a lot of learning which is happening, which are the platform. It doesn't matter too much, and we observe closely on how a particular student learn. Okay, so there are a lot of patterns, you know, which students will exhibit how they are learning. So we have certain theories on multiple intelligence, based on which uh, different students want to learn in a very different way. You know, so somebody are kinesthetic learners, uh, you know, uh, interpersonal skills learners, you know, you know, you know. So there are different ways, auditory learners. You know, there are multiple intelligence which defines the different types of learners, and and they also say that you know a, a, a person possesses more than one or two different types of uh, learning methodologies. Now. We need to sit and observe uh, how our student is uh, learning. So this becomes an essential way for us to really understand how are we going to teach a particular topic, right? So this is one part of it, and and the second part, uh, which is very essential, is I have a learnings out of it. I have a minute point of I have my inference on a particular student and how they learn. Now we might need to start looking at different technologies. Uh, maybe uh, uh, something like AI, something like you know, we look at different data points which we have gathered, and we might need to come to a certain uh, you know inference, certain conclusion on how are we going to remediate that particular student. Okay, so once the learning has happened, we need to really look at remedial measures for students. The, how do I put, put across remedial measures? Is quite simple. You know, in 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 the current system, uh, once the final examinations are done. Okay, so uh, it's been considered more as <coughs> more as you know uh, they're done for that particular year. They have passed that particular uh, you know uh, subject, so they are done with that. Okay, even though the student has got let us say 60 out of 100 marks. Okay, so I'm just giving an example. So uh, we consider the student have passed and we push it uh, into the next grade. But uh, why this 40 marks? You know, you know, uh, the student was not able to score that. You know, the drawbacks. We don't look at it. Right now, remedial measure says that even after examination, अरे बाबा थोड़ा रुको पीछे अभी बाकी है. Okay, this is what the remedial measure says. So now we go back and check what are the gaps in the student. 
why he was not able to answer set of uh, certain types of questions or what are the topics it is we go back and we create a different module for student so that they can learn all these topics okay now this becomes very crucial because you need to identify every student okay and give a remedial measure for a student for different you know uh, different remedial measures for uh, different students say i'll give you a, a very simple example for this consider that uh, i have uh, taken math examination and my friend has also taken math examination we are learning in the same class same school same subject okay he has also scored 60 out of 100 and i have also scored uh, 60 out of 100 but he has not attempted certain questions on uh, say algebra and uh, i have not attempted certain questions on say, geometry okay but final marks are same okay now teacher comes over there and she gives a general information around uh, you know uh, no, where students can improve is not going to work i need coaching on those topics which i did not score well and he needs a topic which he has not scored well right so this is something what i mean by remedial measures now i would like to combine this the new technologies that what we have you know especially something like you know data points you know working on ai so very much we identify the gap in the student and pushing those you know or remedial measures which are in line uh, with the gaps identified in the student so this is something which which is very important for us to um, now you know uh, work on now say what i'm trying to say is uh, uh, it's not just you know usage of tools you know i have this ai tools and i just put in something and i i i i i you know work around that so it, it won't just happen uh, just like that for us identifying the gap in the learning gap is something which is very important and another very important for a tool which we require to ensure that all these things are happening all these things are like we are going to adopt this new technologies uh you know and and deliver certain uh, learning models for student the basic requirement is bringing them to a digital platform okay now it is uh, you know there is a lot of boom which is running around saying that uh, 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 digital learning is uh, is going to harm student you know uh, you know uh, they are going to, uh, to spoil the student you know students see a lot of rubbish things over there they are not controlled whatever set and done in the next coming 5 years the digital learning boom is going to start okay so there is going to be a complete shift in the way the student is being fed the, uh, with respect to learning uh, the way the student starts working around learning and what the industry requirement is as such uh, everything will go inside uh, and uh, will ask for uh, you know uh, the digital learning uh, Of the platform so it is very much important for us rather than saying baba let us understand you know even if you are looking at a knife knife is not uh, or something which needs to be used at all because it is sharp okay can i never say, uh, say, uh, can i uh, uh, say a student never to use his knife you know it we we won't work like that so it is meant to be handled in a particular way it needs to be used in a particular way particular method for a particular purpose that's the education that what we need to do it's not like you go and do whatever you want no right in the same way how we use a mobile phone or any digital devices for learning this concept whatever the concept what we put it across needs to be enabled so that becomes very important and how to use it when to use it what to use it is something what we need to know okay so that is something you know, uh, uh, you know uh, what is it really required Uh, for us to educate people on uh, using a digital uh, device uh, for their you know digital learning so this is what i wanted to quickly you know put it across uh, in this uh, uh, short video so yes there is ai you know tools there are many such tools which are available yes there are many ai related tools which are available now there are a lot of things which is happening about you know let us teach about finance let us teach about robotics electronics so those are concept oriented but there are a lot of technologies which are coming in uh, you know so we need to ensure this how are we going to use this tools use this technology to deliver things in a right way so that's what uh, uh, i would basically want to uh, you know put across in an edtech industry yes there are many tools you know uh, what we are using but 
to what purpose it is being used and how it is being used and how it is being delivered uh, is something which is you know very crucial for us to work around okay so thank you very much for uh, uh, watching this video and uh, yeah so happy learning